Hi, Dale, Magical Balloon Dude here. And today we're gonna do something cool, I hope. It is not a balloon worm, but it's a worm that we're gonna be actually using for fishing. And I can't use this because if, for one, it's too big. My hook would have to be huge. But the other thing is if I put a hook through a balloon, it pops, we all know that. So I can't just simply and recreate this. I can, but the problem is as soon as I put a puncture in this, it deflates. So I'm gonna try a technique that I haven't done in a while. It actually is weaving, but we're gonna be using a hook here. And if you're ever fished before, you may have seen these hooks. They're a weighted hook. And it's got this square part that comes up or this flat line. And that's where actually you take this hook and what you would do is really take this and feed it in the first half, push it all the way down over the weight area. And then you'd have your line, which this would go up over. We would measure and this becomes a weedless fishing lure. What happens this way is you cast it out here, the weight sends it down drags it this way, the fish comes along and bites it, and this hook rips through and basically uh, captures the fish and hooks them and you reel them in. So I would like to do the same thing out of balloons because I've never done this, I've never seen it before, and I thought this would be something cool to do. So if I use a normal balloon, like I say, it's just gonna break. So I came up with this idea about how about doing a weave. Now, I've done a weave for bracelets for years, when the little girls would like a bracelet, I would weave them a bracelet and I'd, I'd take four colors. But in this case, I want to reproduce this mocha colored balloon or mocha colored worm. And I'm going to do it out of balloon. So I'm going to put a little air in, tie it off. And I'm going to have three balloons here. And it's funny because as a balloon entertainer, one of my tricks would be is this is a worm. And if you look right here, it's playing a trumpet. <laughs> you know, that was... A corny little joke I did. But to do this now, what I do is I take these two nozzles and I tie them together. And I will take, we'll plate another one here, and I will take this third nozzle and I will tie it together again. Tie it in. And this is the area that I'm going to use to Eventually, I think fashion here, but for me to do this, I want to braid first of all. This is right, left, right, left, normal braid that you would do. And I'm thinking of having something that looks like this. That would have the braid, it would hook up, and then I'll have these long tails. Now, I've been thinking, what can I use to tie this together? And it dawned on me, a, a trick here, I'm going to put this down. I know it's going to unravel here. But what I'm going to do is take and cut this off. And this is going to give me a little rubber band. Actually, I'm going to take about a half inch. I'm going to put on my little castrating tool here. And... Slide it down. Get this on there. There we go. Now I have that. Now, go back to my braid. And I'm going to braid it about the length of the hook. Just a little longer. Because what I want to do is feed it in between the braid here. So now I'm going to take this, stretch it out. I want to go this way. I want to make sure the nozzle end here is at the very top of the braid. And this is how I would do a simple braid for a girl's bracelet. I would just braid it all the way down, get to the very end with the braid, tie the end together, and I'd have this just a little braid friendship bracelet. Here I'm going to make sure everything's nice and level. Down. Let's see if I can 
roll it off. Pull it back up. Cool. It looks really cool. Look at that. Check that out. Look at that. It's got this big long tails that can flop along. And I'm going to take another part of the balloon, cut it off. I'm going to try doing the same thing here again. Let's see if I can put this on. See here, put this on, scrunch it all the way down, push, push, push. This is, like I say, I've never tried this before. This is something totally new. I've never seen any YouTuber do this before. I've never seen any of my fishing shows that I watch do this. I've never seen a balloon artist ever try this before. So do me a favor, if you're new to this channel, my name's Dale O'Brockda. I'm a balloon entertainer and fisherman. And I'm doing these little videos here, uh, basically because of COVID-19, I'm out of work. Entertainment is at a all time low, to say the least. And I'm keeping myself occupied here by creating these fun little things. And do me a favor, click the subscribe and become a follower of mine. The more people who see this, the better chance I have of uh, creating a following. And hopefully some of the stuff I think I'm doing is cool. Maybe you'll think it's cool. If you want to leave me a comment, please go ahead. I answer all the comments I can. All right, there we go. Man, that looks awesome. Now, I'm going to take this, and this is going to attach right here. And I, I could just stick it right here in the braid. But I think that's cheating very carefully. I can push this up and now I'll have this cool braid. And uh, but like I say, I think it's going to slide off. So what I want to do is very carefully take this hook off. And I want to make sure that I could get this to that. So what I'm going to do, I got to, oh, man, my little portable anvil. What I'm going to do is just so I don't hook myself, I'm going to put this right here. And with a little fishing line, I'm going to tie this up. I have braided line. Braided line, if you've ever, if you've never used it as a fisherman, do not try tearing it with your hands. You will cut your hands. Braided line is very, very strong and it's very difficult to even cut. So what I'm going to do is tie a knot onto this. And the nice thing about braided line is you could actually tie a knot. Let's go a couple times around. Unlike a normal fishing line where if you try to do this, the knot would untie. This is the cool part about this line. You could actually just tie it. And away you go. So here we go. Tighten this down a little so I don't hurt myself. Take this. And I'm just going to wrap it around here several times. And that's going to secure this part of the balloon to my hook there. Man. There we go. Breaded line is really hard to cut, folks. In fact, I you've seen it right there with my scissors. I've Cut it once. Uh, let me tie a couple knots in here. I'm just half hitches. I'm doing. I'm gonna do a series of them. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try this tonight. I'm gonna go out there. Let me lock this down a little better here. Ah, there we go. You know, I, I have another idea for another one of these fishing another fishing hooks, lures. I feel like I should be tying the rubber balloon around them. I'm gonna take two nozzles and tie the rubber balloon. Like I say, this has never been done before. This is not like I'm mass producing these things. This is just for my fun, my shits and giggles, basically here. So I'm gonna try this, tie this around again. I just don't want it to fall apart. I wanna be able to take this to the pond, down the street from my house, do a couple casts, let's see how it works. 
and hopefully I'm going to catch a fish. I was out fishing for the last two days, and to be honest with you, the water is really cloudy. I don't. I know we've had some rain, but it's really stirred up all the muck from the very bottom. It's just terrible fishing. At least for me. I mean, my son caught bluegills. If you're on my face, my personal Facebook page, uh, you would have seen my son uh, put some pictures. You know what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to put that actually on my fan page. So if you want to go to balloons plural art is my Facebook page. You could go out there and see some photos. Maybe I'll even put one on Instagram. If I catch a fish, definitely I'm going to put this on Instagram. I'm going to put a picture of this on my Instagram page. My Instagram is nothing more than my name, Dale Lebrock. I shouldn't say nothing more than my name. My name means everything. It means, you know, heritage and everything else. So I'm going to take this very carefully here and into, into the weave. Let's see here, I want the far part of the weave. Oh man, I to be careful here so I don't stick myself. All right. There we go, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks decent. Let me move up closer to you. See now, I, I got a feeling that this maybe should ride up closer. This is, this is what we have here. And hopefully this is gonna float in the water, fish is gonna come along. Maybe these are a little too long Probably for buoyancy. I'm going to cut these off. I'm going to cut them and tie them. Let's, let's actually make these smaller because that seems too large. That's going to be right about here. All right. Let's put some more air back in. Oh, man. forgot about that. When I did that, that deflates the inside. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I have to force some air back in there. Wow. Maybe I just screwed it up, folks. I don't know. We'll try it. Definitely go out there. It is inflated. I gotta push some more air in. I forgot when I cut it. Dang. But that happened. Ah, nuts. That just fell all apart on me. Alright, let's. All right, let me go get some more balloons and try this again. I gotta be very careful here. All right, man, I'll be back in a minute. Bye. All right, so I basically reworked the whole thing because I realized that once you do the braid and you cut it, you basically deflate all the air. Hello, that makes hindsight, makes common sense now. So what I did was I actually inflated the balloons actually cut the nozzles off first. I cut the nozzle half off. I, I've used them already. And then I did my braiding so I have these nice clean edges here and with air in it. I then took my nozzles before, wrapped them around here. That's what's right into this section. And then I tied in and wrapped my... Uh, braided wire or braided string onto this hook so they'll keep it. So now if I very carefully without puncturing 260 balloon I'll have a line here with these tails. The fish comes along, bites it, and gets the hook. So this is the first ever Twisted Balloon Fishing Lure Hook. You've seen it here, folks. This is the first time ever. I'm going to have to take this out on the pond, give it a couple throws, see if we catch something. That'd be really cool. But uh, I have another idea. Do me a favor. If you like the video, give me a message. Give me a like. Uh, give, leave me a comment. And uh, if you love fishing like I do, this is kind of a cool little treat here. But, uh, yeah, let's take this out to the pond see what we get. See you in a bit. All right, now we're, what we're going to do is actually going to try out this uh, balloon lure here. And uh, get all hooked up to my line. We're going to give it a couple tasks and uh, hopefully catch a fish. First scenario is it falls off and flies out. That's not a good scenario. Here we go. First cast ever. Oh, slippery spot. Oh, man. 
It's not going to work. I need more weight. Look at that. I never even thought of that. Let's try again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to get a heavier weight on this. All right, let's get a second. Let's get a heavier weight. Ouch. Round, round. Let's go four, five. Get it wet. That's the way I was taught how to do it, folks. I know some people wet their fingers. I stick it in my mouth. in like this. So now what's going to happen is this weight when it pulls it, it's going to pull it down and we should get some kind of jigging. Hopefully that's heavy enough to actually pull this down. I'm going to bring the extra weights here just in case. It's my pocket. Close the knife, be safe. Did a quick test. I wanted to put a knot in my line here to keep the weight from sliding all the way. Hopefully this is going to deflate and go under. So we're going to see what happens here. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this. Oh, pull out, not out. I don't know if that's right. Right, I can't find it. Right out there. Look, to left, to left, a little left. Turn a little more to the left. There it is. There it is. And it sticks out there funny. But, let's see, let me try again. Wasn't expecting it to land. <laughs> Just to float. It's actually, it's actually like acting like a bobber, just floating out there. It really swims cool. Kind of the way the fingers go. Can you actually see that in the video? Come a little closer. Bit. Come down closer. Keep coming down. Not the way it swims. It's kind of like an octopus. All right, I gotta try this. I think since that's just a knot. Gonna tie a knot in this area. Keep it from floating as much. Because if I don't tie it, then I lose the air in here and I've done that already early on. Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Probably should close some of these things before I throw it in my pocket. Now I don't throw it back in my pocket. I don't think it's too smart. Alright. There we go. That's flat. Let's see what happens. Uh, the air is still. It. Actually, it's like a frog effect. I think this would be kind of cool for the weeds. You know what? I think we're going to move down where the weeds are and see if we can't catch something. All right, so we're trying it again. We moved down by the weeds because uh, that's where the bass hang out. So let's see if we can't get over there and catch something. Yeah. 
I actually just uh, crank it. It works fairly cool if I crank it. Let me go over go farther this way. See if I can get over the weeds. It's staying under. That's the whole cool part if I get to keep it under there. that's going to look enticing for somebody to eat or not. Maybe this is why we don't have uh, balloons as lures. I'm just really bad at doing this. I'm going to try farther down. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool the way it moves in the water. Alright folks, there we have it. We have the first balloon lure. Put a comment if you want me to make them to you, make them for you and send them to you. I'm joking, I'm not doing that. Maybe I should with the economy the way it's going. I guess it'd be more successful if I actually caught a fish with it. What? There it is. Man, maybe it's a technique, just a little. Oh, see, that was working good. If I give it a little tug and a reel, tug and reel. All right, everybody knows if you fish, it's always the last cast before you leave. You know, we all get that feeling deep inside that we're going to catch that fish. So if I call this the last cast, that means, hey, fish, last cast. Come on. And I so badly wanted to take it. Alright, well, it survived, folks. Proof that you can make a fishing lure out of balloons. And uh, does it actually work? I don't know. I tried. I can say it works as good as almost all the other lures I've had. Actually, my pole just broke. Check that out. Actually, it just came apart here. Actually, it works as good as almost every store-bought lure that you get. You just keep throwing it out there and praying that something uh, bites it. But uh, here it is. Proven. It works. Well, if you like what I, you've seen today, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. Hey, balloon entertainer and fisherman all in one. Enjoy. Have fun. Be good. Be safe. Bye-bye. Do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel right now. Better yet, Find the bell, click on the bell, and be notified with all the new videos. Or if you're an Instagram junkie, make sure you follow me on Instagram.